I've looked at hundreds of new AI tools this past month and found 10 of the coolest. And stick around to the end of this video because I've got a fun bonus one to share. This tool is called Video Files and it lets you edit videos using AI and a basic chat box. So you can see how the tool works. You would just drag in whatever your files are and then you would use this chat box over on the right to say whatever it is that you want the AI to do to your videos. So in this example, they're saying compress all the files to a smaller size and make them one second long. Then what the AI is gonna do is gonna talk back to you and say, okay, I got it. I'm gonna compress all the files to a smaller size, then trim them to one second each. So if you're not ready to process the files, it won't do it automatically until you press this big button that says start processing. Once you start the process, it will then make the edits on the video. So now what you could do is you could take an MP3 file and then add to the chat box and say, now take the first video and add the audio file as background music with lower volume to make it all five seconds long. So again, the AI is gonna respond back to you. It says, understood, I'll add the audio file as background music, lower the volume and trim the results to five seconds. Then if you need to make any corrections again, then you could say something like, oh, and make it black and white. So it is a very conversational AI. And then it'll just respond back to you again and say, got it. And it will make any of the corrections that you want. Once you're ready, click on start processing. And then depending on the length of the video, it will take a little bit and then it will just export the video and look something like that. You can see an example that I created using video files. And all I did was I combined a bunch of my uh, shorts and put it into one video. And then I asked it to make it black and white. And this is what it gave me. This next tool is called DeepShot, and it's an AI that reshoots and does lip generation of dubbed content. So you can see a couple examples of how the AI will redo the lip generation to make it try to match whatever it is saying. 50,000 empleados públicos, not only that, but also contracts were terminated. And notice now more contracts are falling through and 70,000 contracts are going to be terminated. Startups, even in the wake of the crash of 2000, have become imbued with a real mystique. You read a lot about how great it is to do a startup, how much fun it is. Is it perfect? No, but they do have a free trial and the prices are not bad on this. For 12 minutes of video, it costs around $12.50. This next tool is called Summit and it's for helping with daily standups. So what Summit will do is that it will call you at the end of the day and ask you a few different questions using AI. And then it will use those questions to be able to reflect and then create a plan that you will then receive an email summary for. So they have a demo and I'm just gonna call the demo live so you can see how it works. Hi, this is your summit coach calling to help review your day. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sure, I'm ready. Awesome. All right, first question. One, what did you accomplish today? Um, I ate some breakfast and um, did all my morning nice. routine. Nice. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day after all. What else? Any work accomplishments? Uh, I tried to get some work done, but I think I ate something wrong for breakfast and had to go to the bathroom a lot. Ah, I see. The old bad breakfast belly. Well, moving on. Two, are you blocked on anything? Like, other than the bathroom situation? <laughs> uh, no, just, just, just my bowels. Um, if I could get out of the bathroom, then I'd probably be able to get some work done. Oof, that's rough. Hopefully your stomach settles soon. Okay, next question. What's on the docket for tomorrow? Top priorities? Uh, top priority is to eat a healthy breakfast, not get stuck in the bathroom, and then I will probably email the boss and let him know that I'm quitting. Wow, quite a plan there. Healthy breakfast and big career moves. Got it. So, to summarize, today was dominated by a bad breakfast and related bathroom troubles. No major blocks other than that. And tomorrow's priorities are a healthy breakfast and quitting your job. I'll shoot this to your email. Before we end, anything else you want to capture from today? Yeah, remind me to never eat uh, old eggs. Have a great day. So as you can see, the AI also has a bit of a sense of humor. And if you are using the service, then it will email you a summary of everything that you have accomplished and what the plan is for tomorrow. And this is a very new AI tool. They don't even have a proper pricing structure on it, but you can see that you get five calls to start and then you can share your referral link to get 10 more calls per person that signs up. And if you don't want to receive an email summary, then you can also have it sent to you directly in Slack.
This next tool is called Underlord, and it's actually an update from a popular tool called Descript. So what Underlord helps you do is that it's an AI video editing assistant. So they say nobody wants an AI overlord, but everybody could use an AI underlord, an editing assistant that does all the tedious stuff but leaves you in control. So you can see here some different examples of how you might use Underlord. So you have a bunch of different tools that Underlord can do, things like changing out the layout or creating clips based on your video. So I have Descript pulled up and what I can do is I can just go down and then click on, let's say, create clips, and then it will give me some different types of layouts that I can choose from. I'm going to turn the layout off and then I'm just going to click on submit. So now it's given me five different cards that I can click on and we can see the different types of shorts that were created from this video. So we have this one that says upgrade your research game with chat docs, new browser extension. There's this one called create stunning product photos in seconds with photo room. And then it says the clip effectively highlights the value proposition of the tool, demonstrating its ease and use and versatility in a concise and engaging manner. So this is essentially the same as the tool Opus Clips. I'm going to click on Underlord again, and then we can see some of the other features that we can choose from. So you can see with Underlord, we have some different categories, things like sounding good. So editing for clarity, studio sound, removing filler words. We can also do things to improve how good we look. So we can have the eye contact correcting tool, things like center active speaker, green screen, generating an image. We can repurpose, like I showed you, creating clips or creating a highlight reel, finding highlights or translating. And then there's also features that I can do for the publishing process, things like drafting a title, summarizing, showing notes, creating a YouTube description, drafting social posts, or drafting a blog post. And then if you haven't created your video yet, the AI Underlord can also do things like brainstorming, writing scripts, creating outlines, and rewriting your script for you. This next tool is called Mapify, and it turns anything into a mind map using AI. So it quickly transforms overwhelming content into simple, clear mind maps. So some examples, you can turn things like a PDF or a doc into a mind map like that. You can turn an entire website into a mind map, or you can even take a YouTube video and then turn that into a mind map as well. They also have some other ways that you can create mind maps using things like long text, images, and even audio. So you might use this tool for brainstorming, for planning, for learning, or for analyzing content. So I've got this other video that talks about nine different tools and I wanna create a mind map for it. So when I log in and copy the URL, I'm just going to click on Mapify and you can see that it is generating the mind map in real time as I just pressed play. So the video is about nine different AI tools and you can see that it has added nine different AI tools in this mind map. When I zoom into one of the tools, it says Max Focus. It's a link previewer and AI assistant. So Max Focus is a browser extension that allows users to preview links. The tool offers features like reader mode, blah, blah, blah. Max Focus includes secure browsing and the tool offers a lifetime deal with the AI powered features. Now, if I wanted to edit this, I do have to upgrade, but I can also change the layout and the format. So we could change it to, let's say this one. So this is colored or we have these options as well. This next AI tool is Voice Isolator, and it's actually from the company Eleven Labs, which creates probably the most human-like AI voices on the market right now. What's cool about Eleven Labs is they're coming out with some of these free tools that anybody can use, like the Voice Isolator. So I'm going to show you a demo of how this tool works. So I'm going to click on Start Recording. I'm just going to start clapping into the microphone just like this. So you can hear me clapping, and I'm trying to talk, so you can hear how this works. So I'm going to click on Done. And when we click on original, we'll hear the clapping. So when we click on start recording, I'm just going to start clapping into the microphone just like this. And then here's the version that is isolated. Recording, I'm just going to start clapping into the microphone just like this. So you can hear me clapping and I'm trying to talk so you can hear how this works. And another tool from Eleven Labs that I'm really excited about is the reader app. So you can listen to anything on the go with the highest quality voices. So the Eleven Labs reader app narrates articles, PDFs, EPUBs, newsletters, and any other text. Simply choose a voice from their library, upload the content, and then listen on the go. Now it's available as an iOS app. I don't have uh, an iPhone at the moment, so I have to wait for the Android uh, to get released. I'm really excited when this does get released because I have a lot of books in PDF form and I'd rather just listen to them using the Eleven Labs AI voices because they just sound so much better than the generic text-to-speech voice. And it does look like this is going to be a subscription model to be able to access their AI voices. I'm not exactly sure how much that costs, but they say that you get three months free with near unlimited generation at the highest quality voices. 
This next tool is called the AI PowerPoint Maker from PlusDocs, and you can create PowerPoints with AI and edit slides with AI. So if you're looking for the best AI for PowerPoint or even Google Slides, then you can give Plus a try. So it says step one, install Plus AI for PowerPoint. Plus works where you go, so you don't have to learn any other design tools. Step two, generate a presentation. So you can either start from a prompt or upload a file and get a draft in just a few minutes. And then step three is refine and share. So you can edit your slides with the help of Plus AI and collaborate with your team on PowerPoint. And you can see if you don't use PowerPoint and rather Google Slides, it works for that as well. They have over a million downloads and seven day free trial. So like the tool shows is you will just open up the tool and then upload a file, drag your file directly into the tool. And then you can see that the AI will start creating your entire presentation in real time just like that. And then you have your final presentation from whatever the document is that you can go in and edit. So you can see for PowerPoint, it would have this little button that you can go and you can modify the template for your slides just like that. And then it will just reformat everything. This tool is called Mix Audio and it's a multimodal AI music generator. Now, because I make YouTube videos, I'm always looking for royalty free music and Mix Audio allows me to create my own music very easily using AI. And again, it's royalty free. So it's really easy to use. All you do is go up to this little box up here and then type in whatever it is that you'd want to have created. If I type in, let's say chill piano, I can have Prompt Genius recreate my prompt based on what it thinks would be more descriptive. So it turned chill piano into a serene blend of ambient chill piano music, beautifully accompanied with mood, lighty layering, soothing melodies with gentle harmonies, and so on. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna click on generate, and then in just a few seconds, it's going to create some music for us, just like these options over here. So I really like this one. Now I could just download it as is, or you have this option where you can customize it. Now the customizing is really cool because you can see what it does is it opens up all these different layers of the track. So we have things like the rhythm, the bass, mid-range, high-range effects, melody, and ambience. So if I want, I can turn off all these different tracks and then I can select whatever one I want to turn on just to see how it sounds. So right now it's using more like a synth type of sound and I want more of like a classical piano. So now what I can do is just start adding on each track just to see how it sounds and if I like it. So I'm not really too sure what that instrument is in the background, but if I don't like it, I can just click on replace by prompt and I'm gonna say classical violin and see what that turns out as. I'm gonna say instead slow violin If I like how that sounds, I can download the track or I can add on additional layers or even new layers. This next tool is called Afori and it's a research assistant. It says complex research made simple. So Afori is an AI powered reference manager that helps researchers manage, annotate and cite papers and conduct literature reviews with AI reliability. So you can see how the tool is. So on the left hand side, you use the AI to research your papers. Then in the middle, you upload all your papers. And then on the right, it'll store references and take notes from all of those papers. Some of the main features of Afori is that managing research papers has never been so easy when you have things like the Afori reference manager. So you can upload and manage all of your research papers, streamline academic workflow, ensuring easy access to research materials, the Afori notebook, so you can annotate, highlight, and make notes on your papers. Then they have this thing called Afori site where you can easily manage citations and metadata of all of your papers. You can annotate all your files using different styles. So you could highlight areas, use AI to explain and summarize your notes or tag your peers in your annotations. You can also share your research papers and notes with your peers, so you can collaborate on notes, create team libraries, and share your AI research output. There's different types of document formats supported, and you can research hundreds of papers with your AI research assistant. So you can research with three different search modes, verifiable data citations with every answer, and visually check info sources with the file viewer. So Afora has their own document retrieval mode where you can research using uploaded files. They also have a semantic scholar mode where you can augment your search from a data of over 200 100 million peer reviewed search papers. And they also have the Google mode where you can get updated information directly from Google. You can easily verify where all the information comes from. So for I provides data citations with every answer so you can conveniently double check where the info is coming from. And then they say that they have a lot of other features, things like multiple AI models. So you can use any of the different types of AI models like GPT-4, Claude Sonnet 3.5. You can bring your own API key if you're a heavy user. They say that there's unbreakable data security and that you can switch from a bunch of other tools like Zotero to Afori. 
So I uploaded all of the Amazon shareholder letters and I just said, tell me the key business concepts from these letters. And then you can see that it has highlighted these different sections. So if I click on this little ND and then click on view file, it's going to pull up all of the references related to the concept of obsessing over customers in the shareholder letters. And I can go through each of these and find the specific sections within this document. So pretty useful if you're creating content and you need to try to input a lot of information and find the direct source. Or this is really helpful if you're an academic or student and deal with a lot of resources that you need to be able to cite. If you like AI tools, then watch this video next. And here's the fun bonus website. This is called Space Hey. So it is a, a space for friends. So definitely not MySpace. Uh, but it looks exactly like MySpace. And you can see when you look at some of the different profiles of people, uh, it is fully customizable and you can add things like music and uh, these cursors. You even have your top friends list. So uh, just a very nostalgic and fun website that I wanted to share with you all.